Well, hello there today. I pray that you are doing well. I pray that you have your hand in the hand of the man who calmed the waters and that you have your hand in the hand of the man who calmed the seas. Take a look at yourself and you will look at others differently when you put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Thank God for Jesus. What a fantastic day it is. And my friends, have you ever seen a time like this? We don't know yet who the next president of the United States will be. The uh, The courts are involved. Uh, cheating is alleged. Uh, uh, vote dumping. Uh, all kinds of things are, are, are going on. We're watching to see what happens. People are watching television. People are filled with anxiety. People are are on the edge of their seats. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm watching the Lord. I'm watching the Lord and I'm seeking the God of the Bible. And you know what I'm saying, my friends, before I even talk to God about what I want and how I hope things will turn out, you know what I say to him? Oh God, thy will be done. That's what Jesus taught us to pray. He said, listen, before you talk to me about what you want, first of all, give me praise. Our Father, which art in heaven, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Glory, mighty, awesome, wonderful is thy name. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Oh, God of the Bible. Let your kingdom come to this earth. Let your kingdom take over. Thy kingdom come. Oh, the kingdom of God rules and super rules. And look at this. Thy will be done. I believe this. The will of the Lord is the one thing that is going to be done in the earth no matter what. And if we look to the Lord. Now, I'm not one of those who practice abandonment theology. I'm not saying just go somewhere in a corner and and look to the Lord and you don't vote. You don't participate. You don't let your voice be heard. You don't try and uh, you don't get out in the arena and uh, compete and, and, and things like that. If you know me well enough, you know, that's not me. I, I, I am, I am a proud American. I participate in the process. People died so that I could participate in the process. And I happen to be one of those people who do not uh, participate in group think. I think for myself. I am not monolithic. I am African-American. Who I vote for has no bearing on making me black enough, white enough, blue enough, or green enough. No crazy stuff like that. I know who I am. And I vote my convictions according to the word of the Lord. When it comes to politicians, politicians on every stripe. The one thing I want to know more than anything else. Before you tell me what uh, party you are part of. Before we talk about your gender. Before we talk about any anything like that, before we talk about your color, I want to know what do you stand for? And if your beliefs line up with mine, and I do my best to let my beliefs line up with the God of the Bible, because that's all that matters anyway. If your positions and beliefs line up with mine, then you might get my support. If they do not, you have no chance of getting my support. Win, lose, or draw. If you win without me, so be it. If you win with me, to God be the glory. But I tell you, I only will be guided by what I believe that the God of the Bible says on any given issue. So here we are now in the midst of waiting and and, uh, 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 people are looking. What do we do in the meantime? I'll tell you what we do. We serve the God of the Bible with great delight. (laughs) Man, we lift our hands. We give him the praise. 
Aren't you glad, my friends, that you haven't, you're not one of those Christians. You see these guys online and everywhere now. I mean, people have lost their minds. They're going crazy. You got preachers bouncing off the ceiling, hollering and screaming and acting stupid. Man, what's wrong with you? Calm down, brother. Uh, and, uh, and just know, listen, you're the man of God. You're the woman of God. Conduct yourself with class and dignity and act like you've been through a storm before. Some of us are behaving as though we've never had someone elected to office that we didn't like, or you never had to work with a boss or to be in a position with someone whom you may not agree with and you got to learn how to adjust. I think part of our Christian witness is revealed in how we handle life, how we go, you know, Solomon asked God, give me power to go in and out, to go to war, to come back, how, how you carry yourself as a believer. I don't want any derangement syndrome. I will not allow myself to live in such a manner that the mere mentioning of a politician's name drives me bonkers. <laughs> I got too much common sense for that. And I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. And so I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. Now tonight, I'm excited about teaching the word of the Lord. And uh, uh, those who can come, come, come and get a good seat and hear the word of the Lord. Those of you who cannot get here, we'll be streaming tonight. We'll be talking to our friends out there and, and Facebook Live. And listen, I'm hearing from people from all over the world. Uh, I'm going to give a, a shout out to a special lady, a doctor that I spoke to on uh, last evening, uh, her and her husband. Oh my, uh, out there on the, uh, on the West Coast. They certainly encouraged this man of God. I am moved by the sheer number of people who are uh, who are saying, thank God for someone who's, who has the courage to preach the truth and to stand on the word of the Lord. I want you to know you have greatly encouraged this preacher to keep on preaching and telling it uh, like it is. Uh, Isaiah says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sin. And that's exactly what we intend to do if the Lord uh, is our help, and he is. So my friends, tonight we're going to study the word of the Lord together. I'm excited uh, about what God is doing, and I'm watching God. I'm watching God from the White House to my house. But I'm really paying attention to what God's doing in the church house. He said, listen, you know, he said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, the God of the Bible says he would hear from heaven, says, then I will hear from heaven and forgive all their sins and I will heal the land. I think as never before, the church needs to turn. We need to turn to the Lord, get on our knees, call on the Lord and live holy. And if we do it, the God of the Bible will bless us real good. So meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. That's right. You guessed it. Bible study. Tonight, we are going to study the word of this amazing God of ours together. I'll see you tonight.